Hi oh guys, just a quick one. Um, 2008 Transit recovery truck was petrol, petrol gas actually. Um, engine blew up, so I fit the diesel, bought a van, and uh, on the same year, uh, which was a six speed, 140 brake. Um, but obviously, as you know, a van's got a side door and rear doors because we've had to use the body module, ECU kit, key kit, and so on, and clocks. Um, it's been a bit of a nightmare, but hey ho, we got there, it's running, but now the central locking's not working because it thinks there's a door open. So I'll show you guys how to get them message off the instrument cluster and for the central locking to start working. Right, first of all, pop the glove box out. Uh, two little catches there, they just pop out of them. Nice and simple job. Uh, drop the fuse box down. It's quite an easy little job as well. Here we go, we've got this here nice and loose. Uh, got two white plugs behind the drinks holder. Uh, on the this side of the loom here, this piece comes through from the dash loom. Uh, there's a green wire in the plug. I don't know if you can see that there, what I've cut out, which is uh, obviously you can see the shape of the plug and the bit that fixes to the side of the, uh, the well. Um, cut the green wire and then you run another green wire which I've done there sorry I haven't soldered it yet but I will do that shortly but heat shrink and then you run that straight to earth uh, obviously you clip bodies back on once you're done which I will be doing then what you need to do is top body module oh, sorry top plug in the body module you've got a grey and a black and you take the black plug out and in the black plug there's a little clip which I'll show you just there look where that hole is you just lift that up and the plug slides out um, what I had to do was go to a scrap yard because in this plug there's little zooms in two seconds there's little tabs you can just push the tab down and slide the wire out so I just slid a little bit of wire out I slid the tab out sorry with a little bit of wire on um, it's the third one in on the socket as you can see um, and then you need to put that plug back inside this black plug. Right, as you can see, we've slid that back inside that plug. Zoom in there, look. There you might be able to see a bit better. There's your little retaining clip there. So that needs to go back into the module. Obviously, you've got this bit of wire here. Um, God, it's hard to do it with a camera, guys. In my hand. See for sure. Right, hang on two seconds. Right, as you can see, we've got the plug back in the body module. Just got to solder these up. Got both of going up to there. Got to solder this bad boy up as well. Um, and the central lock in the work now. I will show you a video, or we'll add to this video actually how it was before and what it was doing. Right, the problem we had was when you lock it, it would just lock itself and then unlock. If I lock it, you'll see. Locks, bibs, and then unlocks itself. So basically, what we've done is to cure that problem. Um, yeah, so I'll get the wires soldered up and um, happy days. Right, so as you can see, we've got both wires there, both heat shrinked up, um, both going to earth. Shut this over. Do -do -do. Same door jar there. It should lock. There you go. Look at that, and it stays locked. Winner, chicken dinner. <laughs>